Hey, welcome to an impromptu agriculture safari for Comictober. We found this comic book grab bag at Half Price Books. It is as thick as, well, this Showcase Ghosts book, which you should check out that review. So, we thought it'd be fun to just open this up and see what's inside. Oh, kind of an unboxing, but of whatever comics half price books couldn't otherwise get rid of. So, but see, that's the thing. Like, sometimes you actually strike out and get some good stuff. It's just, it was either, it was either too controversial or, or whatever the case may be. Or the story could be great, but there's just so many copies in existence still. I mean, for all we know, we might have like three issues of Young Blood number one in here, which. Yay. Oh boy! Spawn comics from the mid '90s. Let's find out what we got. <laughs> you want to do the honors? All right. Let's see here. I will shred it with a Lego. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. And already, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh we just made Gans day. Ooh, I am happy. First one. Show, show him. First one off the top. Issue 15 of Starman. Love me some Starman. Not just. Not just any Starman, 90s Starman. Ooh, and Mikhail Thomas is on the cover. Ooh. Okay, I am happy. He is my favorite. Uh, uh, we're, we're guessing he doesn't have this issue yet until just then. I don't. Oh, the free Comic Book Day 2016 mixtape, thanks to, thanks to us by Devil's Due. Mercy Sparks Year One, Badger vs. Badger versus Putin. I, a, 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 as in, as in Vladimir Putin. Yeah, no. If we had someone who could actually do a zoom in of that, yes, that that is that is Vladimir Putin. You know, you know, a a certain green lizard man's boyfriend taking on the Orange badger. lizard man. Point is, okay, let's and, put and, this and, in the and squarriers. As in squirrel warriors, putting that firmly in the not as exciting. Ooh, what what's this? Did someone say nineties? Oh yes, this is this is an uncanny X Men, and it's been shaved off the top. That might be the reason why it's in here. Or but well, the cover is brought to us by Jim Lee. Not so much shaved. It was probably printing mishap that happened a lot. Yeah. So that's going on the stack with the free comic book day. Ooh. Blade of the Immortal. This is quite a series that I really wanted to get back into over and over and I just never had the chance to. And you can already tell stuff's going down. You know, I always forget about and thankfully they kept it in black and white. Oh, 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 that oh, that wasn't a good stack. More, more classic X-Men with <laughs> new and improved Master Mold. And if that is who I think it is in the green and black, that's Rogue. So, yeah. Oh, oh, and this was when Schwinn thought they were going to take over the world. No, uh, let, let's let's show the back advertisement oh, as well. No, Wait, was this, not, no, come, not come. go back and do that. Let's, oh, okay. We have like 50 comics to go through. Okay, true. So, oh, more of uh, Blade, 50, but. More Blade of the Immortal. Uh, this is actually a miniseries, I believe. Yeah, this one is, a, this yeah. One is issue 119. Yeah, th this is part of a different of miniseries. So, so, we've got two of four and seven of eight. <gasps> oh, Spider-Man versus Tombstone. Ooh. Oh, man. So, we get part one of Spider-Man versus Tombstone. Oh. Oh, wow, folks. Well, and, of course, we had to get at least one of them from the reign of Superman. Oh, the Metropolis Kid. Yes, we get the Metropolis Kid of all of them, but we don't get the pretentious cover where it's the logo on his jacket and him doing the whole, hmm, yeah, this is the past. It's the Metropolis Kid, yes. Oh, and even the cover opens up and... <laughs> oh, I, I spoke too soon. This is the alternate version of that. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, we have when Superman had the long hair. Yeah, all you young whippersnappers, there was a time when Superman rocked long hair. Got something against long hair? When he, when he had it, it was 
strange. Oh, okay. Because remember, you weren't sure if they were drawing it like a mullet yeah. or not. Right. Because whenever he would tie it back in a tail, it looked tasteful. And then, like, he would let it flow, and then it's like, Jesus, what is wrong with you? Yeah, it <gasps> comes off as black, black hair Brock Samson. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got oh yes. I don't know if Gan knows much about this, but I do. I it is don't. Death Blow from Image Comics. Well, this was, he is happy. This... The, you this, Image Comics. Well, hey, the Death Blow had a nice noir look to it. It, it was... See. Artistically, it was almost like their answer to uh, oh, freaking um, Sin City. Yeah, the art style is very... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. heavy shadow. Heavy, heavy, heavy shadow. <gasps> oh, oh, more, more 90s goodness. It's a crossover. We have Spider-Man and Backlash. But this isn't Backlash. just any Spider-Man. This is the Ben Riley Spider-Man. The clone... I, I, I know a certain Lewis out there loves Spider-Man clones, but the back cover is pretty cool. This, this is actually kind of cool. I mean, I'm probably actually going to have to go through this at some point, and it's part two. <gasps> Speaking of Spider-Man, oh, oh, it's no. the movie adaptation, and it's a Walmart exclusive. It's a Walmart exclusive. <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh! E even, even more Spider-Man goodness. It is Spider-Man 2099 in virtual unreality. So we've got, like, we've got gold. We've got like we're... half of the Spider-Mans represented. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. another Spider-Man. No, no, no. This is the Marvel Masterpiece Collection. This isn't what? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 this isn't a comic series. This was. Back when everyone was getting their own trading cards, Marvel had its own, and they did not hold back people. Ooh. When Marvel Masterpieces came out... It's an art book. Yeah. Like, th this is pretty much where the modern art book got started. Adam Warlock. Like, yes. The only Marvel character I've actually read comics of. Yeah, I yeah, know. Like, he, he blew my mind when he re-educated me on Adam Warlock. I, I didn't think anyone knew anything. I knew the name... And I was just proud of that, and he's like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's just funny, I don't know a damn thing about, like, most of them. Oh. But oh. That's nice. Oh, yes. This isn't, <laughs> the, this, this right here, this is great. This is Punisher got? War Journal. This is the comic series that introduced the world to Jim Lee. Punisher War Journal. So, yeah. So... And the back, we've got Double Zap, here's this. Because <laughs> target audience for yeah. comics being <laughs> oh, yeah. younger than we are. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. This is... Oh! And, of course, this was back when comic shops actually made sure they got their own exclusive versions of comics. So they'd have that stamp down there. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you could tell if you got it from a supermarket or from a comic store. Okay, I know I know Dragon's Lair sometimes has their own yeah. exclusive covers, which is but, really cool. Yeah, but. Wolverine when he rocked a weird greenish-black suit, and I think this was when he would go in and out of the nickname Patch, where he would just stick an eye patch on his face and... Yeah, eye patch. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Ooh, for, for in introducing a winning combination for breakfast... The Super, n the the Super Nintendo Mario cereal. Oh, Zelda God. cereal. Oh, God. Yeah no, yeah, no, for some reason, back in the late 80s, early 90s, Marvel thought that Wolverine was going to be their answer to Clark Kent. I, I, I think this is more appropriate than I realized, because we have the Marvel Universe Book of the Dead Deluxe Edition. The official handbook. Let's see what we got. The, this this was everyone who was up to this point. Oh oh yeah oh oh we're going to have to do some stories soon. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I will explain why my voice just went to no. call off just then. Oh. Easy answer. Character with a swastika on his arm. So like spoiler alert. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, I was like anyway. So now more of the Punisher. You know, speaking of people dying. 
Wait, there's not more Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yet. Ooh, ooh, Dungeons and Dragons advertisement. Forgotten Realms, pretty. Um, Crank out the cl Credence Clearwater because now we have an issue of the Nam. Yes, for a while Marvel Comics actually did a mini series, a few collections of them, of fictional accounts of things that went on during Vietnam. Of course, they were slightly dramatized and were made a little more sensational. Yeah, I mean, well, we're, we're not talking people with laser vision going into the going into the thick of it and blasting each other, but there was certainly a more unique approach at times. The good news is the uh, VC weren't drawn as complete horrible caricatures, although there was a jaundiced assassin at one point. I do remember that. Because they did try to retcon it and have Frank Castle be a part of this. Oh, yeah. In continuity, Frank Castle served in NOM. And here's an advertisement for M&M's. Oh, yeah. Mouth in your mouth, not in your hands, which is a damn lie, and... Anyway. I do believe... Ooh, Doctor Strange. Yes. Strange Tales featuring Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange. This is the last one that we have here. And is it? Yeah. Oh. And on the back is an advertisement for Wedding of the Year, and you're invited. <gasps> Pete and Mary finally did it. Until a certain somebody said otherwise. <laughs> Lewis, r r remember this? Remember when this was canon? Remember? <laughs> remember. So yeah, uh, looks like we've got our hands full with a few things that we're definitely going to be doing later. Um, on. Re you mean rereading Starman? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I think a certain somebody has. <laughs> has their wish fulfillment. What are you? Oh, oh hey, my favorite oh, series. Oh, and and of, and of course, a, a mature book with an Alice in Chains advertisement in it. So, yeah. <laughs> oh oh man. man. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. Wait. A, a game that we should definitely try to get a hold of before the month of Halloween is over. Maybe for next year. Yeah, so, to be continued with the Hexen game. Maybe. Well, that was a silly little unboxing, but it was pretty fun. We got some good stuff. We got mostly confusing stuff. I'll probably end up reading through all of it, because that's how these things go. And, if anything, we're probably going to do at least another one of these for sure. But if you do want to yeah. see more of this, you know... Leave it in the comments. If you have any ideas of, like, actual books we should review, series we should check out, you know, maybe do an actual game review, know. movie review, something like that that fits well within this nice eclectic realm we've decided to step into, in the comments you go. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Gan, Ian Torch. Signing off. I'm gonna go read Star Man. <laughs>